beast, didn't they? Chuffed to bits. The smallest little thorn back there. I'm just concentrating on not leaving the rod over the side. And his eyes. He's got amazing eyes. Doggy in the boat. Called him, man. There's a bit of weight to that, you know. And that's what we want, don't we? We don't want the same same all the time. We want something different, a good old show. Hello and welcome to the channel. What are we up to? Well, a little bit of LRF fishing with tiny little rods, tiny little reels, tiny little hooks and weights and stuff. <laughs> oh dear, this is funny. I'm loving it. And here we are catching tiny little rats. They are amazing. Look at that. Right. Get him unhooked. Come on, bub. Let's get you unhooked. <laughs> Show you on the camera, because he is a tiny little critter. Look at the size of that. Let's have a look, see if we can show you on there. So the bites are coming thick and fast. <laughs> and it's all going crackers. Oh, <laughs> that's going already. <laughs> Let's just lower that down a little bit. And tighten up on that slightly. And I think the trick, really, <laughs> if there is a trick, is to try and keep it down there long enough for a fish to find it. You just see it pulsing with the waves. There is a little bit of wind in that today, so if the wind's coming out on the microphone, I apologise for that. Not much I can do about it. But this little fine rod tip, when it goes, it really goes. Oh yeah, I think I've got a marlin. <laughs> Look at that rod tip. <laughs> oh, it's a different one. What's this one? I haven't seen one of these ones before. That's like a goby or something. Let's give that a little bit of movement. Sometimes movement seems to trigger them off, really. Oh, no, here we go. <laughs> oh, we've got something different again. What's this one? Some, another, like, goby thing. I don't know what that one is. We'll show them all on camera in a minute. And put them in the bucket. <laughs> it seems to be the bottom hook seems to be his favourite. Might try a different spot this time. Go crazy, go different. Got it right down close to the pile in this time. Might be playing with danger now. There must be literally thousands of them down there. Here we go. Right in front of the camera. See what we can do. Here we go. Oh, that's going already. About that. <laughs> do you see that bite? <laughs> yep, we're in. <laughs> what have we got? Oh, drag's not up enough. Oh, oh. This is a bit different. Oh, what have I got? Mike. That looks like a foul hooked swimming crab. The size of that. That was like a significant pull down, wasn't it? A velvet swimming crab. Add to my species count for LRF and we get ourselves rigged. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's going already. Oh. <laughs> Go on, my son. Go on. Oh. Oh, did he manage to snag me somehow there? Oh, yeah, and I broke free. And I think I've still got the fish. <laughs> and I, oh. That's a different one. Who size that one? So that is a different critter altogether. Look at that one. 
Let's try and get in there. <laughs> He's Tom, bigger. Tom Pot Benny. Tom Pot Benny. Tom Pot. Blenny. Tom Pot Blenny. And they got some teeth. They got some gnashes on these bad boys. So in amongst the bucket of fish at the moment, we have got these stunning little ballon wrasse. The colours on those are absolutely crackers. Let's have a look, see if it will focus. It's trying to, the camera's trying to focus on me, but I want it to focus on the fish. I'm going to let that one go. Whoop! And away he goes. Then we've got, and these are even stunning as well. Look at this. <laughs> With his little wings. Look at that. Like little predators in miniature. That one's going back. Did you want to have a look? Yes, please. Found. Oh, so that nice. that is a ras. That's a female ballon ras. Wow. She's pretty. I think there may be. That's another female. But if you look really, if you look really carefully, if you look at the lights, they got really red and green. In their oh, in their really fins, the in the go. light, yeah. and all the way down the side, and in those colours there. That's some amazing colours. What else we got? Little blennies. Oh, oh look at that one! You <laughs> see his little eyes right up the front. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> is that what we got? This one's a bit bigger. This one, he's a big chap Whoa. for what he is. But look how pretty all his. They yeah. use it, and he's got like little eyebrows. Oh, he looks like, you know in Jurassic Park, the one that spits? <laughs> he looks like They're that. They're crazy, aren't they? Where are they going? They're crazy, crazy things. The, um, this one's pretty as well. Oh, it's a little one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Something's taking an interest in that, look. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, here we go. <laughs> what have we got? Oh, what have we got? A little bit different. It's a goby of some kind. And these are always a nightmare to, to unhook because they always take it so deep. <laughs> Let's show that to the camera. Little goby. <laughs> Let's get that unhooked. Where's my little unhooker? Let's put him in there for a sec. So these are the kind of things we have been catching. Um, Mike's just caught this one. This one's not mine. At all. <laughs> Stunning, isn't they? Absolutely. Look at those colours. So we can get him to do his thing. But yeah, and that's quite a dull coloured one compared to the rest of them. <laughs> He's doing his best. Let's get back in. Whoop. That's that one. These are my favourite. Look at that one. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. It's stunning. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> He's going with crackers. Oh. <laughs> what have we got this time? Oh, <laughs> Ooh, this is something different. This looks like a baby pollock. Tiny, tiny, tiny pollock. They don't get much smaller than that. Oh, now that's a little pouting, that one. He's got the little beard. Little pouting. <laughs> Let's get him back in. <laughs> the beauty of this is you use a minuscule amount of bait. When I say minuscule, you could probably come with five ragworm and have a two or three hour session if you chop them up into small pieces and put them onto small hooks. And you can have all this fun. You don't need fresh bait. You can have salted ragworm. So if you've got ragworm left over from a session, salt it down, dry it, out, well, dry it out, salt it down, bag it up, put it in the fridge, put it in a Ziploc bag, and it will keep like that for months. Um, you can use little strips of mackerel, little bits of prawn, 
squid. It's the stuff you can get from the supermarket. You can go to a fishmonger's and just ask for some little scraps, little bag of scraps, and you can fish like this, LRF. Um, you can do this with jellies, with lures. The, the, the possibilities are endless. And these, these little fish, they just don't care. Um, and it's good fun. <laughs> it is real good fun. If you have a light enough rod, and this one is a one and a half to 14 gram, it is whisker thin. But for these it's perfect. I'm using size 12 hooks, um, half or a one ounce weight depending. I've got a one ounce weight on at the moment. And the tiniest piece of bait, absolute tiny. And they're teasing me now. Where's all the fish gone? They've just moved it. You can literally move it a meter and it will make a difference. If you put it down the side of the pylon, of the, of the leg, of the piling, not the pylon. <laughs> um, I'm going to try it over in this corner. This corner looks fishy. So I don't know if I've already mentioned, just while I sort out this little tangle. Swanage Pier, you can park right on the pier. If you're coming during a busy time, weekend, stuff like that, I suggest you get here early. Um, we come here today and there was, there was hardly anyone parking here at all. Uh, so we parked right on the pier and for two of us to fish and all day parking it was £18. And the beauty of this place is there's a cafe right there. So we parked up, had a full English breakfast, because I'm a little bit porky, I like my food. Um, we had a full English breakfast, a lovely cup of coffee, sat in a nice seafront cafe and then come fishing. I must have caught 30 fish today. Albeit that big. <laughs> but it's good fun. When we first arrived this morning, it was quite windy and quite choppy. So we come on the lee side of the pier and we could fish. Um, now that the weather's tapered off a little bit, the wind's tapered off, the waves and the chop have tapered off. We've got the whole place now, we can fish either side, we can move around. But yeah, it's, this is good fun. So you just got that on an LRF? Yep. On a <laughs> Mike just caught that little edible on an LRF rig. Look at that. <laughs> oh dear. I don't think there's quite a sandwich in that, do you? No, I don't think we get a sandwich out of that one. There you go, bud. <laughs> So I caught a velvet swimmer earlier. I'm leaning down because the camera's down. Um, I caught a velvet swimmer earlier. No, I thought that was quite a good little catch. <laughs> Mike's just got proper beaten up by a two inch fish. <laughs> wow. That, was, that did go well though, didn't it? That proper, that bent that rod right over. And we're back in the game. So I've gone back to a one ounce weight and a three hook flapper because where the tide is now going out, it's gone a bit quiet and I want to increase my chances. But the fish that are being caught tend to be a bit bigger. So stand by your beds, we'll see what we can do. Oh, here we go. <laughs> what have we got here then? What flavour have we got? Oh, look at that. It's a little ras. So I've just wet my hands. This tiny, tiny <laughs> little cork wing. He's got the little black spot on his tail there, look. Look at that. <laughs> tiny, isn't it? I'm getting back in. <laughs> Whoop. And away he goes. Off like a flash. He went off like a rocket. So one of the other guys here just now, look at that for a scorpion fish. The size of him. He's a chunk. <laughs> Let's have a look, see if I'm holding by his... Ooh. Yeah, see I'm not sure which parts of a scorpion fish can actually sting, but look at that for a mini species. Predator in miniature. What an amazing creature. 
Hey, look at that. Right, he's going to go and get him back. There you go, bud. Thank you very much for showing us that. Cheers. No Thank you. Here's a right frisky character, this one. Absolutely stunning. <laughs> right. <laughs> back in the bucket. That one's going back. Away you go. Fly, be free. Right. We've got another one of these bad boys. I don't know why that camera keeps wanting to go dark. So I put him on there like that. Look at that. He's going to flip, I know. He's going to flip. <laughs> Get him back in. We've got another one of these really light ones. I've got, I'd love to know if someone can tell me, but these light sandy colour ones, are they the females? I don't know much about wrasse. I've never really gone wrasse fishing before. And this is all new to me. Trying to be careful. Here we go. Look at that. <laughs> Get back. Well, I'm going to call it quits there. I've had enough for one day. Um, and when I say enough, that's probably 50, 60 fish. I don't know. In the nursery area, they are small fish. They are juvenile fish, but multiple species. So there's been dragonfish, pouting, um, sand smelt. I think three or four different species of wrasse. I'm not good with my species of wrasse. Um, what else have we had? Swimming crab, edible crab. <laughs> gobies, different kinds of gobies, blennies. I don't know what they all are, but there's been a good mixed bag. Of I don't know what they all are. I am going to have a look. I'm going to look at the photographs and if I can put comments or in fact, help me out. If you recognize the species that I've seen, put them in the comments because mini species is definitely not my thing this is a first time try for me absolutely thoroughly enjoyed it loved it how much fun that's great isn't it absolutely amazing right so all it leaves for me to say is tight lines and happy fishing from here from me for now it's goodbye take care and i'll see you soon bye for now <laughs> <Small> <laughs> Good fun. <laughs>